Graeme, welcome to the News Hour. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me on. Graeme, Crossteach have been accused of being extremists. How would you describe them? I would describe them as a well-established Christian charity that has a purpose of seeking to explain what Christians actually believe from the Bible, trying to illustrate it in fun ways, in ways that interact, uh, allow the children to interact with what the Bible's teaching, to do activities, and to really understand what it is uh, that Christians believe and why they believe it and uh, to do that I think in a, in a non-intrusive way and in a way that allows them to engage with uh, what Christians believe and what they understand. It's required that there's an act of worship at schools, I know not all schools do it, but often churches and individual Christians can get involved in that and there's lots of good materials for being able to do that, just to present uh, what Christians believe and understand and also cross teacher involved helping out with the RE curriculum. Uh, there's quite a gap of knowledge in terms of Christianity and uh, often cross teach and other organizations can fill that gap and say hey this is what Christians believe let's try and explain it to you let's try and illustrate what it means and uh, how it works out so there's nothing unusual uh, about what cross teach are doing they're just teaching what Christians have, have always believed uh, from the Bible and particularly in a Christian school it shouldn't really be a surprise Graham, so many schools are church-run. What would you say to the view, perhaps from a non-Christian family, who say, well, we've got no choice where our children go. They've pretty much got to go to a local Church of England school. Therefore, allowances should be made for us. Yes, and I, I think that's a fair comment. Uh, of course, to join the Christian school, I think you have to say that you're either a Church of England member or you're sympathetic, and sometimes have to go through a bit of a process of a church uh, authorising you. So you're already really saying that you're happy in principle, but I understand that uh, you may not be happy in principle. Uh, so I think we, we need to respect that, and uh, there's, there's no compulsion, there's no philosophy from cross teach or affinity that people should, uh, children should go to those lessons at all. So I think we, we would respect respect that and if they want need to withdraw from those lessons or from the assemblies i think that's fine but i think they're depriving their children of the very useful knowledge about what is the christian faith what do christians believe i think children are well able to critically evaluate and to take it in line with other opinions to listen to their friends to listen to their parents as well uh, but to get a, a really clear explanation of the christian faith is invaluable and not just getting it from hearsay or getting it from the media which is a very distorted view. So although I would respect their right to withdraw, I would really encourage them to just engage and to understand what's being said and if they want to, to dispute that or disagree with that or encourage their children uh, to do the same, that's absolutely fine as well. That's part of the education and engagement process which we really want to encourage. Graham, is there any inkling um, with you that this isn't an isolated incident or, or do you think maybe this is just a local bit of overreaction rather than a, perhaps symptomatic of a wider trend uh, towards perhaps shutting down Christian dialogue in schools? Yes, I'm, I'm not so familiar with, with lots of schools and what's happening, but I think it speaks to our culture's scepticism and maybe suspicion of Christianity uh, there is a degree of ignorance and I think that feeds into a sort of narrative where anyone who believes anything firmly is considered a fundamentalist and that's almost synonymous with being an extremist which could be extremely dangerous so I think we as Christians have a whole education process to go through to uh, explain what we believe, why we believe it and how that works out in speaking boldly the truth but also in loving people not being a threat to people but being a great benefit to people as we speak to them about jesus and his love and his salvation graham thank you